So for those of you keeping up with the current situation on the Tiangong space station and the so-called stranded astronauts, and for all practical purposes, yes, currently they are stranded now, the original crew, the folks who are on the space station up to this point for the last six months or so, who are supposed to return on November 5th, Chen Dong, Chen Zhongri, and Wang Ji have returned safely to Earth. They, however, had to return to Earth on the Shenzhou 21 return capsule and not the Shenzhou 20, which they are originally supposed to use because space debris, or at least we think space debris, impacted one of the windows on the Shenzhou 20 spacecraft. That being the case, they didn't feel that it was a safe vessel to return this crew to Earth. That being the case then, the current situation for the astronauts who are still on the space station, that is to say the Shenzhou 21 crew, well, they don't have a safe way to evacuate the space station should that become necessary. So if they run into any significant problems, if say some space debris were to strike the space station, or if their life support system goes through some sort of critical malfunction, then they'll have no choice but to abandon in the station on a damaged and unsafe spacecraft and they would very likely die trying to re-enter the atmosphere due to the heat and pressure changes that a spacecraft experiences during re-entry and by the way as you saw from this film these things are tiny little capsules much smaller than say the crew dragon or the Orion or anything that's currently used by the United States and Western countries to bring astronauts out to space. So here's the current situation then and why this is not ideal. The Shenzhou 21 crew who are currently on the Tiangong space station, by the way, their names are Zhang Lu, Wu Fei and Zhang Hongzhang. So, once again, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing all of that. In any event, those three are on the station. They're safe. There's no reason that they need to leave the space station anytime soon. Indeed, they were supposed to stay on the station for at least six months, and they probably will still do that regardless of what's going on right now. Unless the station develops some sort of problems, unless some sort of issue develops, they're probably probably going to stay up there. But again, if they need to leave in a hurry for any reason, they have no way off the station. And that cannot be a very comfortable living arrangement for these guys. But once again, these folks are highly trained. They know what they're doing. And I'm confident that China will find a solution for them. They have a reserve spacecraft to stand up to the station if necessary for these particular situations. It will be, of course, a little while before they can prep the vehicle and get it up to orbit. But nevertheless, this is a situation that they have planned for. Now, I've been asked a question. Can the Shenzhou spacecraft dock autonomously? Because there's only room for three people on this thing under any circumstances. It's such a small spacecraft that they need to have a pilot on board. Well, no, they don't. The Shenzhou is capable of docking automatically, just like Crew Dragon and a variety of other spacecraft. The Shenzhou 8 mission was the first to perform an automatic docking in 2011. This was on a previous space station called the Tiangong-1, which was deorbited after malfunctioning a few years ago, actually back in 2019. So yes, the Shenzhou spacecraft is more than capable of doing this. As a matter of fact, they use an automatic fast docking technology to dock the Shenzhou with Tiangong as a matter of course. It's standard operating procedure these days, and that actually allows China to carry out very fast docking procedures and go from launch to docking with the space station in a matter of a few hours. As a matter of fact, this Shenzhou 21 mission set a record from launch to docking, a world record in terms of how quickly they were able to get all of that done and get the Taikonauts 
onto the station. So pretty impressive, definitely. By the way, you may also be curious, or for those of you who are interested in women in space flight, why are there no women amongst these six guys? Do the Chinese use women at all? Well, actually they do. They're not as egalitarian as Western nations, but in my opinion, they're more egalitarian than the Russians are. There are currently three female Taikonauts who have been to space. Liu Yang, who has been to space twice on Shenzhou 9 in 2012 and Shenzhou 14 in 2022. Wan Yaping, who went up to space on Shenzhou 10 in 2013 and then again on Shenzhou 13 in 2021. And then finally, Wang Haozhe on Shenzhou 19, which by the way, was the mission immediately preceding this one. And that was her first mission. And as far as the current astronauts are concerned, two of these guys are rookies, I must say. Um, we've got Wu Fei, that's his first space flight, the one that he's on now. And Zhang Hongzhang is also on his first space flight. The only veteran we have on the Tiangong station right now is Zhang Lu, the commander of the mission. So as I said, for the next six months, these three guys will be stuck on the Tiangong station. Again, not a terrible thing, at least not compared to their spacecraft. It's 122 cubic meters worth of space for the three modules that make up this space station, the Tianhe, Wenchang, and Mengxian modules. And that is compared to the 916 usable pressurized cubic meters on the International Space Station. The ISS is absolutely massive compared to the Tiangong, but nevertheless, it's definitely a big station compared to the types of stations the Russians used to use in the past, or the Skylab, that sort of thing. Certainly large enough to accommodate these guys and take care of their needs for the next six months. Now, as far as when the landing comes up, and another reason why it's not great to be using a damaged spacecraft, even if it survives re-entry. Look what these spacecraft have to go through after re-entry and when they hit the ground. They only have a single parachute. They don't have the multiple chutes with reserve chutes, that sort of thing. All of the features that Crew Dragon has that any spacecraft that NASA would use. These things are a lot more dangerous than anything that Western astronauts tend to use. And again, it is a rough landing. So if the structural integrity of this thing is questionable on any level, they definitely don't want to try to use it to re-enter the atmosphere and land. So these guys, for better or worse, are stuck up on the station, at least for the moment, but they're not in any immediate danger. I don't foresee that it's very likely that the Tiangong is going to be struck with any sort of crisis, any situation that's going to require an evacuation, and also additional micrometeoroid and space debris shielding was installed on this space station a few months ago. That provides it with a lot more security against space debris, at least the smaller stuff that we can't pick up on radar. So once again, to re-emphasize, I think these guys are going to be all right. Depends on how long it takes to get that reserve spacecraft up to the station, but no immediate cause for concern, just not an ideal situation for them. I will keep you up to date on everything regarding their current situation, and also let me know if you want to see more stuff about the Chinese space program. I don't cover them very much at all. Let me know if you want me to change that in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay angry about space.